old. Regardless of what happens. What it will always be fun to play forced. Ripen. It's because every game is different. Darius playing with bone planning and exhaust? Holy shit. People talking about boring champions. Hmm. Huh. We have a platinum one in the team. Decays. Somebody decayed out of high elo, I guess. I'm tr I'm waiting for to see like what matchup we're gonna get here. All right, we're doing Rift against Malphi, guys. Fun matchup. Alright, we're gonna do Riven against Malphite. Let's record a video. Oh, we're playing against the barcode guy. Hey guys, and welcome back to yet again another video. So, today we're going to continue the Challenger games. We're currently around 800 LP right now in Challenger. We're getting pretty close to a thousand points right now in Challenger, so we're getting really high up there. Gonna try to get that rank one, guys. But anyways, we're playing Riven against Malphite right now. Very interesting matchup. This guy is actually playing with Arcane Comet 2, which is something that you see actually quite a lot in uh, on Malphite, actually. Like, a lot of players are playing with Arcane Comet. There's some other people who also play with Grass, but Arcane Comet is like the the meta currently on Malphite. It's, it's kind of annoying to play against, but then again, you can do like lots of things against him, so I'm not worried about that. We also have a Platinum 1 in the team, but I believe this guy decayed. I believe this guy was like Master Plus or something like that. Alright, two Grand Masters in the team, and we have like one Master in the team. We actually have no challenges in this team besides just me. Alright. Riven against Malphite. Interesting matchup. I'll show you guys. The Arcane Comet Malphite. For the runes, uh, we're going to play with the same runes like we always have, which is Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Magical Footwear, and we have the Cosmic Insight. Also with CDR, Scaling, AD, and Magic Resist. That's pretty much the standard pitch. Alright. People making noise outside. Super annoying. Alright, let's go. So usually what I do into Malphite, I always start off with my E. I think I might do the same now, but I do have to help Mundo trying to take the red buff though. I think I'll probably still pick my E regardless. Because 
If you start with Q against Malphite with Arcane Comet, he's just going to poke you with Q quite a lot. You're barely going to do like any damage and he will just like destroy you. If you start with E, you're basically countering Malphite's Q. And you can also throw in like another auto in between. So technically you could win the level 1 pretty easily if you just start off with your shield. Alright, here we go. Like Grasp Malphite and Arcing Comet Malphite are two entirely different matchups. He's gonna try to drag it, which is fine. I don't know why he's actually dragging the wave here. Personally, like if I was at Malphite, I would never drag it. Because now he's basically giving me the free level 2 here. Let's see if he's gonna pop his Q. I really want to have like the push level level two, especially uh, right now because I kind of want to set up the lane for uh, for a fight at the river camp possibly, since Mundo's always uh, also playing around here. So, ah, oh, he's actually picking W here. Oh, all right, now we're getting double T here. Nice. I'm gonna push really hard right now. Mundo is actually gonna go back here. I'll just show you guys the the map. There we go. The mini map is free now. So every time that Malphite will pop you like a free Q on you, you will shield that. And then you can also like jump out of his Arcane Comet with your uh with your Q as well. So technically you you won't like uh take up any damage. You'll do exactly like no damage on you if you do it right. So Arcane Comet Malphite does work, but it's <clears throat> you can definitely play around it. Nice, that's a good one. Now the good thing about Malphite Arcane Comet is that Malphite becomes extremely weak to all ends. So his poke is going to be insane, but like the rest is going to be kind of more. That's the flash. Okay, I think we could dive him under Tower here actually. Alright, no, nice, there we go. Like, this is the kind of playstyle that you want to have if you're playing against an Arcane Comet Malphite top lane. So once again, it's like super annoying to play against because he's going to poke you out a lot and stuff. But if you kind of like know how this matchup works, if you like know like when to shield, when to Q and all that stuff and you went to all in, it's actually like a really easy matchup. I'm going to take two long starts here, a ward and a revealable potion. Nice. So not only did we get the kill on Malphite, he also like doesn't have flash anymore. And he also doesn't have teleport anymore. So we currently have the TP up. And we've got the lane pushing it towards me. Those are a lot of good things because even the TP advantage, we could carry bot lane right now. If we have a, like a proper uh, uh, push in the lane right now, we could TP bot lane anytime and fix their lane too. I'm not going to trade him just yet. Mainly because of this reason. Oh. The quick trade in between here. Because he, he had a creep right there. I think I could kill him right now. Maybe. Oh, I'm going to block that one. I actually won that trade pretty hard. I think he might actually go back to base right now. Oh, I've accidentally missed a big one. I'm going to push this lane very hard because Malphite is currently going back to base right now. I'll have to reset as quickly as possible. Alright, I'm going to go back here. The lane is probably going to freeze around here under tower. Hopefully, it's going to be perfectly... Yeah, it's probably going to... Yeah. Alright, nice. Yeah. Okay, it's going to be right here. So, that means that Malf if as soon as Malphite returns in lane, the lane will be eventually be pushing towards me again. So, this is perfect. We currently have an advantage of about 8 CS. He has got like a slight farming uh, farming advantage, I think. I mean, f slight XP advantage on me. 
I'm not quite sure anymore. We will have to figure out. If we could reach level 6 before he does, then we could actually cheese him very easily. Alright, he's gonna try to like play super aggressive against me. My shield was only uh, half a second cooldown as soon as he threw it through the queue. I could TP bot lane right now and then get like loads of free kills. This mob is being pretty annoying right now, but that's like all he can do pretty much. I can all in it right now. He's gonna ult out of it, which is fine. If Malphite's ultimate is on cooldown, it's it's much better than. Uh... It's really good if Malphite ultimate goes on cooldown, because that means that Fiddlesticks couldn't gank me either, because like Malphite has no, um, he's got no pressure anymore as soon as his ultimate goes on cooldown. So now I just have to keep timing my shield over and over. This is really good for us. My shield's gonna come back now. He does not have any mana anymore, and he does not have TP either, so he can't do anything right now. Malphite has, uh, Malphite has nothing. My teammates played this, like, extremely wrong here, actually. They should not have even fought this in the first place. They should have just kept, like, laning. They shouldn't definitely not have taken that fight right there. I believe Malphites might be going back to base right now. Yeah, he's gonna go back to base right now. Alright. They played that very wrong, they should have just kept going. I'll try to take one plating and then make my way back. Alright, there we go. We have the first plating already, so we have one plating advantage over Malphite 2. And the, he's also lost like half of the creep wave there. Nice, and I'll buy like a long sword. So, we currently have 64 CS. Malphite has about 42. We currently have one plating advantage. And we have the TP advantage still. So we're getting like our lead is gr uh, growing like bigger every time right now. Nope. I think he's starting to max out W now because he's been like losing previously. And Malphite's ulting out again. Pretty much the classic because he plays the Dark King Comet. This is what Malphite's gonna do for the rest of the game, but it's it's fine. If it if he ults out of it, it's perfectly fine for me. Nice. Now we can actually kill him on our tower, maybe. Okay, he's gonna go back to base. He either will TP or he doesn't have it yet. So it's gonna be either way. It's gonna be platings again. So here we go. We have another plating on Malphite. We're slowly getting a massive advantage over Malphite. We may not get like any kills right now, but it's perfectly fine. We currently have a 30 CS lead over Malphite at the moment, which is like insane. It's huge. And he's also used his teleport again, so we currently have TP advantage again. So we have a 30 CS lead, we have two platings lead, and we have a TP lead. They should fight this. That's number one. 
Okay. Nice, we have a triple kill here because of we have the TP advantage. So Malphite is getting platings now, but it's fine because we get a triple here, so. That's fine. I'm gonna buy Mercs this game because they actually have like full AP. They have Lulu who's AP, Fiddlesticks, and they have a Malphite which is AP too. And they have like a bunch of CC, so there's absolutely no reason to not take uh, the, the Mercs here. This guy actually, he, he got like really, really greedy for the plating there. I'm gonna push this one as quickly as I can. Cause I think he's gonna go back to base right now. I think he will. That's the Malphite ultimate. Okay, I think we can force, I think we can force him, literally. That's another plating. Fitter six good. He could come top side. Fiddle sticks could come top side. We gotta keep that in mind. The blue buff is spawning now, so it's very likely that he's going to be here. I'll be taking this blue buff. I got it. I'm gonna take the XP for my own. Malphite's currently at the blue buff. But I already got the blue buff, so. Oh, I can't move up to the fight right there because of the creeps. I would just recommend that we actually back off there. All right, now we can uh, also finish off this turret. And we've got the first blood turret, nice. So now our advantage is extremely, extremely big right now. Let's see if we can snowball a little bit throughout this game. I'm gonna be stealing as many jungle camps as I can from Fiddlestick, so he will fall behind too. And at the same time, I'll try to make pressure so I can maybe win mid lane too. I'll just be, I'll just help like Shen pushing this lane so he can actually do something else. Ah, that's Fiddlesticks right there. Hmm, Pike and Fiddlesticks have like a lot of CC. I gotta be really careful about them. I nearly got caught by them. Oh. Oh. He's going straight here. And then get caught like that. Alright, not gonna lie. I got caught right there. It was pretty obvious that they were like three man mid lane and then just Jen just walks straight into them and just dies. Alright, no problem. Dragon will spawn in uh, 50 seconds. We're gonna have to fight for this one. I'm gonna go back to- oh. Pike is always like super annoying to play against because he can like technically he can always run out of you all the time. Huh. I try to cancel it. We're gonna have to group for the dragon now. Alright, let's group up for it. Oh, there's some wards down here. I'll be taking this farm meanwhile because there's no fight happening down there currently. The more farm I have, the better. 
This will walk into... This is going to crash into the turret and Pike will miss it. Shen is going 1v5 and just gets caught in there. He just decided to E them? Wait, what? Shen literally pressed E onto five people and then dies like that. Wait, what? Hmm. That Shen is completely useless this game. I'll be uh, I'll be farming our camps before we uh, make a move somewhere else. If nothing is happening around the map, we just want to be taking as much farm as possible. Nice. Uh, I can't really take out Malfa. He will probably press ultimate again. Let's see. I'll push up next wave and then actually go back to base afterwards. We will have the dead stuns. There could be other people coming top set, so I gotta make it quick. Alright, let's go back. We have one kill these. Oh, she's gonna flash out. She actually flashed out. Oh, he got super lucky there. He didn't actually get hit by that. Fiddle 6 is inside, like, right here, right now. Hmm. This is gonna be quite a difficult game because my teammates are absolutely useless this game. He's gonna go back to base. Nice. I currently have like a 7 TCS lead over Malphite actually, which is huge. They're getting caught again. They're grouping around pick picking out Civi here. Alright, nice. We're getting this thing. We will also, like, uh, start building up for the Guardian's Angel now. I think I'll probably definitely need a QSS this game. I don't have my team with me here. I can't stop it. The team is not here. Like, none of them are here. Shen is not here either. He's AFK in the base right now. Mo Mundo is just farming out camps like it's no there's nothing going on here. What is happening? I don't know if it, I don't know if, Mo if Mundo even knows that there's like mid lane being pressured in. I don't know. This better be worth it. Lulu has no flash. They could take it out here. Ah, they're getting something at least. All right, that's decent. At least they're getting something back in return. All right, I gotta get my Guardian's Angel very soon, and then possibly uh, either a QSS or like a Stark Gauge. We will see. At least Mundo is getting pretty fat based on just farming right now. Maybe we could try to get a, maybe a catch or something like that. Perhaps, maybe if we get super lucky, like somebody will probably pass here and we could maybe take him out. Alright, we're very super lucky today. I'm not going to fall for the bait there. Like, pike players always bait you. If they if they are staying around you and they don't they don't jump back, they're baiting you for something. They're baiting you for something big. Oh. 
Syndra and Morgana are kind of like standing in the back line. And Shen was right here who could have possibly ulted me in that fight right there to stay alive. This was a 5 against 4. Sivir was not there. Sivir was dead. I, I took Sivir out before. Shen could have ulted me. But he didn't do it for some reason. It was a 5 against 4. We should have won this. But uh, whatever. There's so many things happening this game. That makes it so much harder. Alright. We've got the Guardians Angel. They're taking the third dragon right now. Even the... Besides like the Shen ultimate, even Morgana could have shielded. Alright. Shen is like split pushing the map right now. I'm gonna go back top lane probably. Oh, he's gonna go back right now. Okay. This, the Shen like split pushing doesn't make much sense this game because he's not like ulting properly. Got my TP up in two seconds. There's a fight in Bale right now. He's actually got to kill Malphite surprisingly. I think we can still definitely win this game. It's not looking too bad. I'll just keep on pushing this one. Got my TP up, so something happens and I'll TP in. I think they're doing the Baron right now. Three people are currently at Baron. Okay. Fiddle 6 is doing this camp right now. Hmm, he doesn't see me. Ah, oh, he got Pike ult. I mean, he got altered by Lulu. They also see me coming, like, as soon as I show up here, they, they know I'm here. I think we could definitely win this one. Lulu's ultimate is down at the moment. The ult is down. I think we could win this one. I also have a Guardian's Angel, so I could save myself. We're going to fight this one. Mundo is like farming permanently this game. Just kind of annoying. We need him right at the moment. Okay, Phyllis is just right here. Oh, Mundo is fighting right now. Alright, we got one guy. Perhaps, maybe we could even win this entire fight right now. If we move up to Baron right now with five people, we could take it for free right now. Mm, he's not gonna try. He won't try. If he tries to, then, then we could fight him again. If they move up to us, Phil Six is currently dead. We should be able to win the next coming team fight right now. She's actually going all in.
Okay. We can take this dragon right now, actually. I think I'll probably just go for a Steric Gauge this game. Because uh, they currently have, like... They don't really have a team where we would need a Last Whisper that badly. It's pretty... Like, it all comes down to becoming super tanky this game. So they don't actually, like, kill us with a single combo or anything. I think if we push mid lane right now, we can force the dragon for free as well. If the only thing is that Mundo is currently not here again. He, like this guy's like farming permanently all day. Mundo is like never here right now. He's fighting Pike currently. Fiddlestick is right here. Okay. I have a Guardian's Angel, so I'm, I'll be alive here. They they are like actually quite lucky. They're just flashing out of my combos like every time. Okay. I think we could even try to finish the game here. Maybe not. Maybe we have about thirty seconds right now. I think we could try to finish here, actually. They don't have wave clear either. Yeah, we can finish. Nice. Alright, that's very good. We actually won this game. <laughs> We've actually won this game. Shen was actually completely useless throughout the entire game. Mundo was like farming pretty much the entire game. And everything this game was just not right. But we've actually managed to carry this game despite despite my team. Having such a bad game, we've actually won this game. Anyways, we're currently 813 LP right now. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Watching, like, the Riven against Malphite matchup. Hopefully, I've been able to teach you guys how to play against, like, Malphite with Arcane Comet. Thank you for watching today's video. Also, this game is currently being played live on stream. So, if you want to see, like, more challenge Riven gameplay, don't forget to check out my stream, guys. Anyways, thank you for watching today's video.